Hey guys, so, while grinding in the Dragon Wars Castle, I actually got here with a decent amount of MP left. So, I'm not level 21, but let's try this out. Let's see how lucky I can get. Yeah, yeah, you're the king of kings. Uh, you give me half the world? No, 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 that's okay. No. No, really, I don't want half the world. I want to kill you. Yeah, foolish mortal, my ass. We'll see how this goes. Bring it, Dragon King! No, don't... Oh, thank God. Yeah, he can cast... I think he can probably cast every spell in the game. Because he's already shown he can sleep and firebane. And heal more. He might have stop spell. Actually, if he has stop spell, that'd be a very big problem. So let's just hope he's only got sleep and heal more and firebane. Um, I need to I need to heal. I need to heal right now. Oh, by the way, I learned the Firebane spell. I don't like using it. Maybe if you're grinding, you could do it. It does like 60 damage, which turns out that will kill one of those demon knights. So, uh, I think the text is glitched here. It's supposed to be that his form fades away. And then, his true form is revealed! Yeah, even back in the day, we had two-stage boss fights. Or final boss. Oh my god! Yeah, if he hits you with those, uh, violent flames, that's a problem. Go ahead and cast Heal More immediately. Fireball, not so big a deal. But even his physical attacks do a lot of damage. Usually it's going to breathe fire on you. Um, yeah, it's all just a guessing game of how often you need heal. And hoping that you go before him. Ooh, Scorching Flames, that's... That's only a little bit more powerful than the Fireball. I think it'll only heal basically any time my HP gets below 60. Or around 60. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Because, yeah, 145 is my maximum. Jesus! Hits for 40... And I'm only doing, like... 30... 20 something to him. Yeah, around 30. So, if he can get two quick turns in on me like that, that's a big problem. We'll just go ahead and use a, uh, a medical herb right now. And now I need to heal more. He's trying to pace out my MP a little bit better. Man, this is not going incredibly well. Most because he's getting really powerful physical attacks and interspersed with the um, violent flames that burn me alive. Well, they did say that his claws would rend steel and his breath would melt stone. Yay! So, there you have it. That's the end of the Dragon Lord. Or King Dragon, or Draco Lord. Whatever you want to call the punk. Killed him and brought peace to the world. And this is a pretty typical thing in Dragon Quest games. Once you've beaten the final boss, all the monsters disappear from the world map. All the poison swamps, well, at least in this game, all the poison swamps turn to flower fields. And you could go to every town of the game and talk to the people, and they'll say slightly different things. I'm just going to go back to Tantago. If you want to see what everyone says, play the game. I encourage it. I really enjoyed this game. I do want to see what this guy says, though. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, apparently he, uh, loves the princess. Too bad for him, because she loves me. <laughs> Fine. Try to walk up next to the king, and he sort of scolds you. Of course I'm, the um, the son of Roto. You said it was from the beginning. No, don't let me rule your country. Screw that. I'm going to go and find my own country to rule. Found a new nation, or several. And then the princess is all like, No, Homer, I want to suck your cock. Well, actually, kind of. Yeah, you can come. After all, I'm going to need someone to make some babies with. And then they trumpet my victory as the hero in Laura 
awkwardly walk off. I think in the NES version, you get to see the sprite of the hero carrying the princess again. And now we have a, uh, uh, slide reel? Whatever. A reel of the different areas in the game, showing you walking around talking, sort of talking to people. Oh yeah, the old man behind the counter there. I forgot to go talk to him after I got the, um, the Sword of Roto. He actually said something slightly different. Yes, buy the magic keys! And delve within Garai's grave! I kinda like calling it the grave instead of a tomb. Because it's, you know, alliteration. GG. Uh, by the way, Dragon Lord, GG, good game. You put up a nice fight, but... Turns out, even at level 19, I was able to kill you. Yeah, I'm going to get that tip about the uh, token or the emblem of Erdrick or Roto or Loto. You might want to wait until you have the armor so you don't, you know, get hurt going through the damaged floors. Yeah, this is pretty fun, though. I really enjoyed this game. Really, I don't even know exactly why I like Dragon Quest games as much as I do. I guess it's just the general old school feel of them. Because they are, like, the granddaddy of Japanese RPGs. And for as simple as this game is, I still have fun playing it, even though it's so much grinding. Like, seriously, so much of the game is spent just fighting the enemies over and over and over so you get strong enough to actually do the things you need to do. So, yeah, original, 1986. Earth Year, yay. Uh, I don't think it came out to 1989 in the America. And this version was made in 1993. Wow, only four years later. Hmm. And then, yeah, the evil team and RP Gone, RPG One did the translation for this in 2002, which is still really long ago. And that's the end of Dragon Quest One. Uh, I have a few bonus episodes planned, because for as limited as you may think this game is, I actually have things I can do that will change it and make bonus content. And after that, it's Dragon Quest II, which I don't remember that game nearly as well as I know this one, because it's like four or five times as big. It's massive by comparison. So, um... Come watch me bumble my way through that, because I, I'm totally going to get fucked. Not like I didn't get killed a couple of times in this, but you'll see. So, until then, Classic Gamer signing out. I'll see you guys later.